In the realm of strength, training, and bodybuilding, the debate between high repetitions, reps, and low reps has long been a subject of contention. Fitness enthusiasts, athletes, and trainers often find themselves pondering which approach is more effective for achieving their desired fitness goals. Is it the endurance-focused high rep training that reigns supreme? Or does the heavy lifting of low rep training hold the key to unlocking strength gains? In this comprehensive exploration, we'll delve into the science behind high reps and low reps, examining their physiological effects on muscle growth and strength development. By understanding the mechanisms at play, we can shed light on the age-old question and equip ourselves with the knowledge to optimize our training regimens. High reps, endurance training for muscle fatigue and metabolic stress. High repetition training, typically defined as performing 12 reps or more per set, is often associated with endurance and muscular endurance. This approach to strength training targets type I muscle fibers, also known as slow twitch fibers. Slow twitch fibers are characterized by their high resistance to fatigue and their ability to sustain prolonged contractions, making them well suited for activities requiring endurance, such as long distance running or cycling. When engaging in high rep training, the primary physiological mechanism at play is metabolic stress. Metabolic stress refers to the accumulation of metabolites, such as lactate and hydrogen ions, within the muscle tissue during exercise. As the muscle contracts repeatedly over a prolonged period, metabolic byproducts accumulate, creating an acidic environment within the muscle cells. This acidic environment triggers various physiological responses, including the release of growth factors and the activation of signaling pathways involved in muscle growth and repair. Studies have shown that high rep training induces significant metabolic stress within the muscle, leading to adaptations that promote muscle hypertrophy or growth. This increase in muscle size is believed to result from a combination of factors, including the release of growth factors such as insulin-like growth factor 1 IGF-1 and mechanogrowth factor MGF, as well as the cellular swelling that occurs in response to metabolic stress. In addition to promoting muscle growth, high rep training also enhances muscular endurance, allowing individuals to perform activities requiring prolonged muscle contractions more efficiently. By targeting slow twitch muscle fibers and improving the muscle's ability to resist fatigue, high rep training can benefit athletes participating in endurance sports, as well as individuals seeking to improve their overall stamina and endurance capacity. Low reps, strength training for mechanical tension and muscle fiber recruitment. In contrast to high rep training, low repetition training focuses on lifting heavy weights for fewer repetitions per set, typically ranging from one to six reps. This approach primarily targets type 2 muscle fibers, also known as fast twitch fibers. Fast twitch fibers are characterized by their rapid force production and high power output, making them well suited for explosive movements and activities requiring maximum strength and power. The primary physiological mechanism behind low rep training is mechanical tension, or the force generated by lifting heavy weights. When engaging in low rep training, the muscles are subjected to high levels of mechanical tension which leads to microscopic damage to the muscle fibers. This mechanical tension serves as a potent stimulus for muscle growth, triggering signaling pathways that activate muscle protein synthesis, the process by which new muscle proteins are synthesized and incorporated into existing muscle fibers, leading to muscle hypertrophy. Research has shown that low rep training induces significant increases in muscle strength and power, as well as improvements in neuromuscular efficiency the ability of the nervous system to recruit and activate muscle fibers. By lifting heavy weights for low repetitions, individuals can effectively challenge their muscles to adapt and grow stronger over time, leading to substantial gains in strength and power output. Furthermore, low rep training enhances muscle fiber recruitment, allowing individuals to engage a greater number of muscle fibers during exercise. This increased recruitment of muscle fibers contributes to greater force production and muscle activation, leading to improvements in overall strength and performance. Comparative analysis, high reps versus low reps. Now that we've examined the physiological mechanisms behind high rep and low rep training, let's compare their respective effects on muscle growth, strength development, and overall performance. Muscle hypertrophy. Both high rep and low rep training can stimulate muscle hypertrophy through different pathways. High rep training primarily induces muscle growth through metabolic stress, while low rep training relies on mechanical tension to promote hypertrophy. The optimal approach for maximizing muscle growth may depend on individual factors such as training experience, muscle fiber composition, and genetic predisposition. Strength development. Low rep training is widely regarded as the most effective approach for building strength and power due to its emphasis on lifting heavy weights and stimulating maximal muscle contractions. 
By challenging the muscles with near maximal loads, individuals can elicit significant increases in strength and power output over time. However, high rep training can also contribute to strength gains, particularly in novice lifters or individuals, transitioning from endurance-based training programs. Endurance and stamina. High rep training excels in improving muscular endurance and stamina by targeting slow twitch muscle fibers and enhancing the muscle's ability to resist fatigue. This makes high rep training ideal for athletes participating in endurance sports or individuals seeking to improve their aerobic capacity and overall stamina. In contrast, low rep training may not provide the same endurance benefits, but can still contribute to improvements in muscular endurance through increased strength and power output. Neuromuscular adaptations. Both high rep and low rep training elicit neuromuscular adaptations that improve motor unit recruitment, coordination, and efficiency. By challenging the nervous system to recruit and activate muscle fibers more effectively, individuals can enhance their overall neuromuscular function and movement proficiency. These adaptations play a crucial role in improving strength, power, and athletic performance across various activities and sports. Practical Applications and Training Recommendations Given the unique benefits of both high rep and low rep training, the optimal approach for maximizing muscle growth, strength, and performance may involve incorporating elements of both strategies into a well-rounded training program. This approach, known as periodization, allows individuals to vary their training intensity, volume, and rep ranges over time to promote continuous adaptations and prevent plateaus. For individuals primarily interested in maximizing muscle hypertrophy, incorporating a combination of high rep and low rep training may be beneficial. High rep training can be used to induce metabolic stress and promote cellular swelling, while low rep training can stimulate mechanical tension and muscle fiber recruitment. By alternating between high rep and low rep days or incorporating both rep ranges within the same workout session, individuals can target a broader range of muscle fibers and stimulate greater overall muscle growth. Similarly, for individuals focused on strength and power development, prioritizing low rep training with heavy weights is essential. By lifting near maximal loads for low repetitions, individuals can challenge their muscles to adapt and grow stronger over time. Additionally, incorporating accessory exercises and explosive movements can further enhance strength and power gains by targeting specific muscle groups and movement patterns. In conclusion, the debate between high reps and low reps for muscle growth and strength development is multifaceted and nuanced. While both approaches offer unique benefits and physiological adaptations, the optimal training strategy may depend on individual goals, preferences, and training experience. High rep training excels in promoting muscular endurance and metabolic adaptations, making it ideal for individuals seeking to improve endurance capacity or engage in endurance sports. Conversely, low rep training is highly effective for building strength and power, particularly when lifting heavy weights for low repetitions. By understanding the science behind high rep and low rep training and incorporating elements of both strategies into a periodized training program, Individuals can optimize their muscle growth, strength gains, and overall performance. Whether your goal is to sculpt lean muscle mass, increase raw strength, or enhance athletic performance. Leveraging the principles of high reps and low reps can help you unlock your full potential and achieve your fitness aspirations. Thanks for joining us on this journey through the science of high reps versus low reps. If you found this exploration insightful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more evidence-based insights into the world of fitness and exercise. Until next time, train smart and train hard!